Thanks everyone so much for jumping on this quick video, walking you through how you can easily scan a QR code or barcode to find items inside your Sortly application. Now, if you haven't already, you should download the Sortly app. You can do so from the Google Play or the Apple App Store. And at this point here, I'm logged into my account. So in order to go to the scan process, we need to first add an item into the system and link a QR code or barcode to that item. So in this case, I'm in the items tab. You'll see I'm left of the magnifying glass down in the footer here. You initially will land on this page, but we're gonna to go to this page here, which is the all items tab. Now to add an item into the system, all we have to do is click on the plus icon and it's gonna allow us to either add an item or add a folder. In today's example, I'm gonna click on add an item. It's then gonna give me the opportunity here to go in and add an item name. I can add photos, quantity, et cetera. So for today, I'm gonna to work with a bottle of water as an example. And for the quantity, I'm just gonna go ahead and put in the number 25. Now feel free to add any additional details here that you would like. You can add a photo. You can either pull your camera up and take a live photo, or you can actually pull photos from your camera roll. So feel free to do that on your end if you'd like. There is also the ability, of course, to set up a mid-level. You can add pricing, your total value. And if you click on this little drop-down carrot, it's going to allow you to expand to all of your additional custom fields within the system. So feel free to add those as needed. The section I'm going to focus on today is right under the notes field. It says QR code or barcode. So if I click on that field here, it's going to give me the option to either create a new code, meaning I would have to print out that code within the system in order to make it, or I'm going to click on the link existing option here. So if I click on the link existing option, this is going to allow me to add a barcode or QR code on an item that already exists. So I'm going to click on add. It's then going to pull my phone's camera up. And I'm gonna find that QR code or barcode, uh, which you just saw scan there. And then from here, there's the opportunity for you to either look that product up. So if you wanna try and find that product on the web version of the software or through eBay or Amazon, as an example, if that item exists on those platforms, you can easily add that. Um, in this case, I'm not gonna click on look up product. I'm just gonna click on the link option here. So I'll hit link. You'll see that there's a little blue shade behind the QR code or barcode, letting you know that that was successfully linked. And then the last but most importantly uh, step here is to click on the save up at the top right. So we'll hit save here. Now we will see that 25 units of water is down below. So let's say for example, that we wanted to scan a QR code to find that item, not to use the quick action, but just to find that item. Instead of using the top right-hand corner barcode scanner option, that's gonna take you to the quick actions panel where you can make adjustments quickly, such as reducing quantity, move things around, et cetera. In this case though, we wanna focus on just scanning a QR code or barcode to find that item. So I'm gonna click on the magnifying glass tab. It's gonna be that middle tab in the bottom portion of the app. And at the bottom right-hand corner, you see the opportunity to click on that scanner option and that's going to pull up your phone's camera. Now we could type in the search bar, I could just type in water and it's going to pull up results that match that. So we can see under the all items tab, there's the unit that I just added and yep, that's the item that we're working with. But if I don't want to type in the item, how can I find it? So the other way to do so is to simply click on the scanner option here. That's going to pull up your phone's camera. And you noticed right away, I scanned that QR code or barcode on my item. And boom, there's the item that we were working with. This is the one that we just created on the demo. Of course, at this point, I can click into it. I can make adjustments, move it around, access history, export it, delete it, et cetera. So I have full access there. So that's how you're going to go about scanning a QR code or barcode just to find the item. Again, quick action seen at the top right hand corner of the screen with the barcode scanner icon, that's going to take you into a different portal in the app. If you're looking to just scan a QR code or barcode to find data uh, on an item or just find an item in general, you'll go to the magnifying glass tab, you're going to click on the scanner, it pulls that camera up you scan that barcode and then instantly you're set up with some results. Let me know if you have any questions. As always, feel free to reach out to support at sortly.com. Thanks.